Hey, good morning guys. It's E here from Virginia Grace Living. So um, I'm just out here in the barn real quick this morning, checking on my plants, uh, a few different things. Um, my little turkeys down here, we'll check on them in a second. But the main reason uh, I'm making a video today is I'm gonna be putting up some electric fence for the goats. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a three strand style fence. Um, I have my charger and everything that I'm gonna hook up today. So I'm running poly wire um, and I got some step in posts and stuff like that. So this is kind of not a permanent uh, type thing. It's something that I can kind of move around a little bit but it's not as portable as some of the fence netting you may have seen before. Um, but for the goats, I got to run a wire sort of low to the ground because they like to stick their head under things to check and see if they can uh, put their body under it. So uh, the intent is, is about eight to nine inches off the ground. That way, if they put their head under there, it'll give them a shock and they'll, they'll uh, stay in. But I'm gonna give them a pretty good place to roam around. They'll still have access to the barn uh, in case the weather's really bad and stuff like that. Um, but I feel bad keeping them in the barn. I do let them out and they kind of walk around and stuff here and there, you know, every day. But uh, I'd like to give them a little bit more freedom uh, and so that they have access to fresh grass and all that stuff uh, more frequently. So anyways, I got some turkeys down here trying to escape. Um, hey, hey. So the turkeys are growing well, as you can see. Um, they're probably about ready to go out on the grass here soon. So I got my chicken tractor and stuff back. I got a lot of stuff, guys, that I'm going to be, uh, doing here in the near future. I got to put my greenhouse back up, chicken tractor out. We'll be getting our meat chicken soon. So a lot of cool and exciting things that I'd like to keep, uh, you guys in the loop and we can share with you guys. All right, let's get you back in here with your, your friends here. So you can see they're growing really well. They're getting big. Um, and I'm giving them fresh fresh water and food. I gotta fill up their feeder here this morning. Um, they're about to outgrow this brood pretty soon, but, but that's fine because I actually need this for my meat chickens here soon. So, but anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Follow me along. If you do like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so I gotta go get my uh, post driver it's one of the things I'm gonna need. I'll be doing the corners with T-posts and then I have the step-in post that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I got my fence charger, all my stuff here from Premier One. Uh, not affiliated with them, but I'll put a link in the description of the, the type of stuff that I'm using. So this is your step-in post. It's got uh, the little metal spike on it. And then you can see these little areas to put your electric wire. Um, so anyways, I got my spot kind of marked out out here. Uh, let's go out there and go start putting some of those posts in for the corners and everything. Uh, and then we'll do our step-ins and run our wire. And then last but not least, we'll hook up our energizer and test that out. So I'm going to put it out here. Um, it's going to kind of do an L shape. We're going to run the fence from the chicken coop kind of out here to the yard. I want to leave enough space where the kids can play and they can go to the hammock and all that. Um, so it's going to go to this way, and then we're going to come out here, morning Zuko, up to here, and then we'll tie it back into the barn over here. Morning Noah, let's ride and get those step-in posts, you ready? Yeah. Okay, scoot over. Last night when I did that, it was basically Jackson that did the post. Alright, put my stuff on the golf cart real quick. <laughs> throw this stuff on the back of the cart. Amber, you gonna drive it around for me? No. Don't make it all fall off. All right, drive careful. Go ahead. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> all right. Where do you want it? What's this, the stretch handle? Probably put them about every eight to ten feet. Just kind of step them in. With the swag camel? I don't need that yet, buddy. Okay. Right, grab another one. Oh. 
All right, so I'm gonna get this one open here. That opens some more up. So they send it in a box. I think, I think I ordered 25. I probably don't need all these, but I'll have extra. Uh, eventually, we'll want to do some pigs and stuff. All right, so I'm hopefully going to get all this stuff done before it looks like it might want to rain or something here in a little bit. And this is really the only day I have this weekend. I think it's going to be raining all day tomorrow and the next day. Uh, so I'm trying to get some stuff done. I need to cut some grass and everything too. But anyways, I have, I believe, I have enough posts and stuff up. Um, you can kind of see behind me here. So let me kind of turn it around so you can see. So I have... The step-in posts and then my corners I have T posts all the way around out here and then over here so I'm gonna run my poly wire and everything so before I get started with the poly wire I have these lock jaws here I've heard a lot of really good things about these guys post a link in the description to these two these I got off Amazon I know you can order them from them directly too but uh, they snap on to the T posts and they work as an insulator supposedly uh, very simple and easy and then I'm gonna be running this uh, poly wire right here I'm gonna run three strands total uh, I'm just gonna uh, double back and then do uh, my loops that way so let me go ahead and get these uh, check these out and start putting these on my posts and then we'll start running the wire all right so I got them set up like that on this post and then I'm going to go ahead and start running them down and snapping them onto this post right here the cool thing about these is I guess you can really snap them on any direction um, like they'll go on the side or that way or that way I'm going to be running them about on here so we're going to snap these on here about I don't know about eight nine inches off the ground to start out with I know I was going to put one on. Okay. Let's go up a little higher on this one, can you? Okay. Right, you can scoot it up a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Kind of put it right there. Hi, guys. Oh. So, hi, guys. It's me, Noah. But right now, uh, my dad's doing something, so, yeah, it's me. Hi. Uh, my dad wants me to take you guys over here. So let's go guys. What? Are you recording? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start running our cable here. <laughs> Back her up. Keep on. Oh, yes. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Got it. Go put her in here. All right, keep on going. Oh, we're switching off. Alright, so I got the Prima Shock 4 from Premier One here. This is a pretty uh, substantial energizer. I was told you'd definitely want a good one for goats. This one puts out four joules. Um, so I've seen people say even more than that, but I think this should be good. So I'm going to go get this hooked up inside uh, on the inside part of the barn, and then I'm going to run the grounding rods uh, and get everything hooked up. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my ground my ground rods. I got some uh, insulated cable here that I'm going to run through to the charger to link to here and then to my grounding rods on the uh, negative side. So let's get these in the ground. They come with two. All right, so we got the fence up. All right, the true test now is we're gonna let the goats out. I did just run my tester. 
uh, and it is showing hot so uh, let's see how they do i'm hoping that they uh, will do all right and they'll enjoy having a bigger area to now graze and hang out you give them all this pasture right here and then they just want to stay in the barn now silly goats i don't think they know what to think about this fence come on girls come on y'all have made a mess in this barn i gotta clean it out come on now we got it going now they had actually chewed my power cord and i had to fix it so goats yep, it's working they have to learn and test the fence out and sometimes their instinct is going to be to push through it but if they touch it with their nose they start to get that understanding of i need to stay inside this fence and i don't need to mess around with it generally speaking the younger goats will, will learn much quicker than an older goat that has not been around this stuff so but you can teach an old goat new tricks All right, guys. Hey, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. So um, it was actually pretty simple to set up. It took a little bit of time just because I'm a dad and I have Hi. lots of distractions. But it, if you don't, uh, it really should only take you an hour or two. Um, so I got everything set up. I ran three strands, put it a little bit above the ground. Uh, so where if they stick their nose under there, they're going to get it uh, zapped and learn that uh, rope real quick. And then it'll be a psychological visual barrier for them to just keep them in so uh i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said if you liked the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up subscribe and share as always thanks for watching and god bless